Hi. I'll introduce you to my two friends in a minute. Because these two friends may turn out to be the best friends you've ever had. I don't think my daughter is going to worry at all that I'm borrowing the two stuffies right now to prove a point. But what do you do if you miss your ex? By the way, if you don't know who I am, this is David from DavidWygant.com. This is Blue Dog and this is Pink Dog. They talk, but only to special people. So we have to make sure that you're special before they start talking. Wait, what did you say? I will. I'll tell them. What? Yeah, I'll tell them. So, you're pining over your ex. You're thinking about all the things that your ex was. You're missing your ex because you're just not enjoying dating anymore. You're not meeting anybody good on Tinder or Bumble or Hinge or Match.com or OkCupid. You're meeting a lot of guys that seem to be looking for the bigger, better deal. You kind of feel like you're a little too old to be dating or you just can't find anybody that's serious and they want to meet somebody. I know there's a lot of reasons and a lot of men are swiping for a bigger, better deal. Sure, a lot of us are assholes, but a lot of us are not. So you start thinking about your ex and you start thinking maybe you should get back with your ex. And this is where Bluey and Pinky come in in about a minute. See, we romanticize the ex. We forget about all the things that the ex did to us. We forget about the fights and the arguments. And we forget about how unchangeable and unmoldable they really were. We tend to romanticize our ex, especially when we're feeling really lonely, especially when dating is not going the way that we want it to go. We've all done it. We think to ourselves, man, I've been single for a couple of years. I've met one asshole after another, and what am I going to do? It's like you start thinking about the ex. You start thinking about him. You start thinking about the times you had. And your brain starts actually playing tricks on you. Your brain actually starts to think about only the good times. So you send them a text and ask them how they are. Maybe hope to rekindle you know, that thing, that flame. Maybe you flirt with them a little bit because they go back to being on their best behavior. You remember that best behavior, that man that you met in the beginning before he turned into your ex, Mr. Best Behavior Man? Well, he's back to being that again and you think he's grown or learned. You start tricking yourself. Your ex hasn't changed. They're your ex for a reason. They haven't changed. They haven't grown. They haven't learned the lessons. And probably the same dynamic is going to be there if you guys got back together. Because in reality, once you break up with somebody, you break up with them at the point of exit, not at the point of entry. Not when you were dating the representative, the representative that was giving you the best version of yourself. You actually met the real version of yourself. You actually broke up with them at the point of exit. That's the person you need to remember, not the representative from the beginning. You need to remember the person that was driving you nuts at the end, that wasn't fulfilling your love tank and wasn't giving you that what you need and the one you were battling with. The only reason why you're romanticizing the ex is because you can't stand dating right now. So here's my suggestion, and there's a few good ones. One, you get two little friends, pink and blue. And you can buy them at Toys R Us, right? Right? Right. Yes, David. Yes, Toys R Us. And you can buy them at Toys R Us. They're cheap. And every night when you go to sleep, you can have your own three-way. You can basically hang out together. And the great thing about having this type of three-way is that, well, nobody's going to be banging your good-looking friend and making you feel uncomfortable. And... Your boyfriend's not going to tell you that he wants to have a three-way for the sake of you. It's going to be a three-way every single night with two of these great, cute, little furry friends, pink dog and blue dog, and cuddle up next to them and start feeling good and get back out there and date. Get back out there and realize that you deserve an amazing man. Get back out there and realize that there are great men out there. Start manifesting the guy that you want. Start putting together a list of feeling. How do you want to feel with a man? How do you want what type of relationship do you want? How do you want to be treated? And every night, recite it to your friends. Well, Pink Dog, you know I'm looking for a woman that's highly evolved and one that I can get along with. That's wonderful, David. And Blue Dog, yes, David. You'll never be replaced in my heart. But I am looking for somebody who is a little, well, I'd say a little less hairy all over because I don't particularly like my woman to be as hairy as you, but you're cute. Anyway, use them to cuddle with, use your brain to manifest, and use your heart to stay open. This is David from DavidWygant.com, joined by Pink Wygant and Blue Wygant. I'll see you soon. Subscribe down below for more life-changing videos.